Python channel from GPT plugin. Um, today I'm going to show you the embeddings. This is the new feature and it's really a very really cool feature. You can use it and you can um, load your data and then you can uh, customize your chat widget so that um, the, the widget will know your content and then it will answer the question. So uh, it is here, it's under train your AI page and then it, it's here embeddings. So um, so uh, it works with the pine cone. So this is like some kind of uh, vector uh, da database. So um, because um, you know the the we are using this embedding concept from OpenAI, and then uh, basically we are storing all those information in some kind of like crazy numbers, right? So we have to use uh, a vector uh, database. Uh, we cannot use like a standard database like MySQL or SQL Server. It has to be a vector database. And um, so uh, let me see open AI um, embeddings. <clears throat> so here, if you go here, you will see that, um, yeah, this is the, so for, for, we can use it for search, for clustering, recommendation, and etc. There are some use cases. And <clears throat> so the, um, we are using this, uh, this model because this is the recommended one. And um, yeah, we recommend using this. So um, OpenAI actually recommending using this because it is better, cheaper, and simpler. And also, um, so yeah, yeah, there are some use cases. So um, where is yeah? So as you can see, <clears throat> um, OpenAI also suggests using vector databases. So Pinecone is one of them. Uh, or you can use others, but we only have integration with uh, with Pinecoin at the moment. Uh, but maybe in the future uh, we can add uh, other database uh, as well. And then we use this um, cosine similarity uh, as some kind of function to you know like getting the nearest answer from the da database. So um, let me show you how it works. Um, so this is the embedding page and then if you go here you will see that we have um, three different page under this embeddings the first one is called data entry this is the place where you are going to enter your data and the second one is the entries you can see the entries that you already put here right so for example i put here some entries like and then you can see how much um, token and then uh, what was the estimated co uh, cost for that particular content. For example, I put like, for this is the Grammy uh, award for this year. So record of the year is this one and album of the year, Harry House and song of the year is this one. So this is like more uh, very recent events, right? So we already upload this data uh, and then I also put the uh, the most recent earthquake that happened in my country in Turkey. Um, so this is the uh, information. So we have some information about uh, which city, when, and um, the the magnitude, etc. Okay. So I already put this information, right? So and um, now once you put this information, you have to change your um, um chat gp uh, chat widget settings right and then you need to go to uh chat gpt tab here and as you can see we have this options here right so under the content aware so um so uh if you select content aware it means that that this chat widget is going to know your stuff know your content and then it's going to try to answer questions based on your um content right so we have two uh, method for this one. The first one is use excerpt. Excerpt is like um, WordPress um, have this um, uh, standard way that every article or every post or every page have a summary, right? So um, we are using, if you select this one, it means that for each page on your website, um, when, when users uh, visit that page, and then we are using that page summary, uh, to teach the uh, chat widget that that is the context and then uh, in that way um, it can answer the um, relevant question so let me let me save this and then I will show you
Okay, I save it already. As you can see, it is now here. By the way, this is by uh, this is the default one at the moment. And then now I will go to my website, and then let's see. I will go to how to add cron job, right? So this is so. Um, what I'm expecting is when I ask something, I'm expecting this to know the content of this page, right? So let's say hi. <coughs> okay, how to um, add cron job? Cron job for this plugin, right? So it's really specific uh, question. So um, let's see. Yeah, as you can see, um, this is exactly the this this information is exactly matching with the information here, right? So, to add the cron job for this plugin, you need to use this command, etc. So this is the this is the way that we are using the um, we are using uh, article summary. So um, this is not going to work if you don't if you do not have a good summary for your for your pages or posts. So you need to make sure that oh, each of your page or post have a good summary okay and um, so this is the I call this traditional way so this is like using just WordPress summary and then I you know uh, like using that as a context and then now we have this embedding so this is a really cool technology from OpenAI and so this if you select this one we have two methods here the first one is embeddings plus completion and then embeddings only so the difference is embeddings and completion means that uh, <clears throat> in this one, so we are going to um, give some instruction to the chatbot, right? So, okay, this is the context. Don't answer anything else. Uh, you have to only answer the, uh, the question if it is related with this context. And if it is not, you just need to say, I don't know the answer, right? So this is that one. But this, if you select this one, embeddings only, it means that <clears throat> We are not going to give any instruction to the chatbot, but your chat widget is going to like sound much more like a search um, <clears throat> button. It's like it's not going to like say hi, how can I help you? Okay, so this is uh, if you want to give some kind of like a little bit uh, human touch, maybe you can use this one. So let's say I want to select this one, and then um, <clears throat> we have two more um, options here: the nearest answer. So. How it works? Let me explain how, how I'm going to explain this. Okay, let me let me save this one. You can see it's now embeddings and completion. So now um, let me show you again. <clears throat> so these are the um, these are the data that I already upload this uh, this chat widget, right? So uh, I'm expecting this chat widget knows the album of the year for this for this 2023, right? So let's go to the website. Okay. Uh, what is the album of the year? <coughs> yeah, as you can see, album of the year is Harry's house, and exactly uh, correct answer. And let me ask about that earthquake that I already upload that information. Um, when there, when was the earthquake? in Turkey <clears throat> yep as you can see it's exactly giving the correct answer uh, uh, from that that data that I uploaded here right so this is um, uh, I mean you can you can enter all your data like your products your website content and then basically you can use this one uh, but to do this, um, you need to go to um, you need to open a, an account on Pinecone. So this is this is Pinecone. This is like a vector that database. Of course, they have a free plan and paid plan. So free plan, they have some limitations. Um, if you are thinking to you know like um, do it like for extensively, like you know you are going to use very heavily, maybe you should consider getting their um, paid plan. At the moment, I'm using the free plan, honestly. But the free plan, so uh, you need to create an index. So first, you have to open an account here, and then you need to go to index, and then you need to, because I'm on the um, free plan, I'm 
allowed to create only one index so i'm not going to be able to create another one but i want to show you how you can do that so you just need to give a new a name my cool index <clears throat> and the dimension is this one and um this is the metric so you should choose this one and then you need to create index but i'm not going to be able because i have limitation because i'm on the uh, free plan so this is my index i already create this one right so once you create your index you are going to get this some kind of url you need to take this one and then you need to uh pass it here okay i'm going to delete this because it is already shown here but i'm going to delete this so you need to put your uh, url here from pinecon and then you also need to get your um api key here and then you need to put that api key here once you put that here you can save it and then uh this will be enabled now um so you need to go to here data entry and then enter data right so for example um what should we uh put here let's let me think okay um grammy award grammy awards okay <clears throat> let me um okay let this one let's put another one okay best uh, okay this one so i'm going to put this one here okay so this is the information best rep uh, album is this one and then i'm going to save it okay record saved and then you can see it here right so and then this spent 18 token and then 0072 uh, US dollar okay and you can see the yeah here so I already give this information right so what I need to do I'm going to come here and then I will ask what is the what is the best rap album right <clears throat> it's supposed to yeah as you can see it's giving me the exact correct answer that i just teach the bot right so um this is working really nice you but you need to you need to put all your data if you want to if you want to talk and then you need to make sure that um it's like in a good format um as a next stage i'm planning to add some kind of data converter here so maybe convert all the um post and the products to to this format and then you can just with uh, one click maybe you can convert and then um, you can use the chat widget okay so this is how it works um, let me know what you think you can always contact me from here contact us section and um, yeah you, if you have any question you can ask me from here okay um, thank you have a nice day bye bye